The onset of COVID-19 marked the beginning of the contactless era and South Korea has already emerged as the global front-runner in developing practical contactless services that benefit consumers and present lucrative business opportunities for companies. This year, the National IT Industry Promotion Agency or NIPA is promoting the 2023 activation of digital services in public convenience sectors to accelerate the spread of contact-free services in crucial aspects of life, such as business, household consumption, education and evaluation, and wellness and health in the endemic era. This project aims to identify and support key investment areas that urgently require to shift to digital due to the accelerated transition to a digital-focused economy and society in the post-COVID-19 era that started in 2021. One of the main objectives of this project is to promote the growth of domestic contactless services and establish a virtuous cycle ecosystem and support the prototyping and commercialization of contactless services and products in areas closely related to everyday life. Since last year, the project has focused on supporting digital companies that provide digital or contact-free services to help them upgrade their services and expand overseas. The biggest milestone reached through the project, which celebrates its third anniversary this year, is that it not only promoted the growth of the digital industry in South Korea, but also built a virtuous cycle for the industry by conducting pilot tests on the digital services of relevant companies as well as by providing support for the commercialization of those services. The service areas newly selected by the agency for pilot testing this year include business, household consumption, education and evaluation, and wellness and health, which are all areas very closely related to people's lives in the endemic era. iPixel is a company that specializes in building and providing an AI-driven medical rehabilitation exercise digital healthcare platform. This innovative platform enables users to access cutting-edge services from the convenience of their homes, offering AI-powered home training courses that traditionally necessitate daily visits to medical facilities. Utilizing this data, medical professionals can prescribe necessary rehabilitation measures to patients in a contact-free manner. HowFit is a home fitness service that was jointly launched on the market with Shinhan Life. The service won the grand prize at a Digico contest hosted by KT, and last year, it also won the grand prize for the Google Play's best app. The company is also planning to launch Exercite, which is an upgraded product based on its AI home fitness service know-how through global service with LG Electronics. In addition, through the task of upgrading artificial intelligence home training services for non-face-to-face -face rehabilitation exercise and telemedicine, they are working with CM Hospital, Severance Hospital, and so on to refine the service. JSolution provides mobile-based all-in-one access security management services for companies that need to automate and improve work efficiency. This year, the company completed pilot testing of services based on the LG Electronics Access Security Platform. JI is a solution that manages access security for various types of access. This is a service that allows integrated management of visitors, vehicles, and passengers with just one mobile device. It automatically authenticates via mobile phone, tracks the location of the vehicle in real time, and provides immediate notification of violations. It controls mobile cameras immediately after access authentication to prevent unauthorized filming and leaks of confidential information and provides intuitive, real-time integration control of the administrator's access and violation status. Multics provides unnamed information terminals in the form of kiosks aimed at aiding socially disadvantaged individuals who face limited access to information in our rapidly evolving digital era. Nurigo, a barrier-free unnamed information terminal or kiosk that applies artificial intelligence technology and disabled control convenience technology, collects motion information in sign language, the language of the hearing impaired, and provides it as a sign language video information for the visually impaired. The company applied technology that can collect and provide voice information. In addition, it is designed to allow free control of audio and video information according to the type of disabled person. It is a product that allows terminal control using audio information and Riley keypad for the blind and adds a height adjustment function for the wheelchair and disabled users.
Tesang SNE operates as a virtual class provider offering an online software practice education platform. This cloud-based platform is meticulously crafted to facilitate a flexible software practice environment free from the limitations of time and location through the standard internet browsers. The company has achieved success in conducting two-way interactive pilot classes involving students from different universities. This non-face-to-face -face online SW practical training service platform virtual class is definitely a very innovative and useful in realizing two-way classes without time and location restrictions. Dolbom Dream specializes in developing products and services specifically aimed at addressing negative human emotions. The company develops and sells a mental health monitoring inflatable vest, which helps resolve emotions such as stress, nervousness, anxiety, and fear. The smart vest collects biometric information to monitor the user's emotional state and stress. Hagi is a special vest that uses air injection technology to provide deep compression. It is convenient to use as it injects air into the vest by pressing the pump with your hand. It can be used both by adults and children with development disabilities and it is lightweight. The latest model has optimal vest pressure, texture, shape and design through various paper analysis and experiments. The company also plans to launch a new, more precise Huggy product early next year. Technology will be introduced to collect biometrical data such as the user's skin conductance and heart rate to check the wearer's emotional and stress state and automatically adjust the amount of air accordingly. As you can see, the project, now marking it its third anniversary this year, has achieved a significant milestone. It has not only fostered the expansion of South Korea's digital industry, but has also established a positive feedback loop within the sector. This has been accomplished through conducting pilot tests on digital services offered by pertinent companies and providing assistance in bringing those services to commercial fruition. Global research firms anticipate a sustained expansion in this domain, especially fueled by the ongoing rise in remote work practices. The continuous growth in contact-free software implementations is expected to persist even beyond the endemic phase. In conclusion, supporting contactless services encounters challenges in industrialization, including identifying demand, resolving technical issues, and ensuring successful commercialization. The proposed assistance streamlines prototyping and commercialization, focusing on demand alignment, trial applications, and navigating complexities for SMBs and venture companies. This framework aims to foster innovation and growth in the contactless technology sector, ensuring successful market integration.